Hey guys, so I'm on set. I'm actually in my friend's beautiful apartment, studio apartment, where he like set this whole thing up. I'm just gonna be giving you guys tips on how to pose, what movements to bring, what to do when you know you have a con conceptual shoot. And today, Trevor's acting crazy over there. <laughs> today, I'm in more of a, like a vintage 80s look vibe going on. That's why I've got my shaggy hair. You saw this wig last time, right? <laughs> yes, versatility. So, get you your wigs, like I said, so you can do any kind of look. And um, yeah, Trevor styled me. So I'll be showing you guys a little bit of what I do and you can pick some things up. like I said before and what you want to do with anything is just know the vibe that you're going for talk to the photographer he let me know his concept he brought you know the styling element and so now I'm gonna bring the mood and that just means you know we want to go really fashion forward so the kinds of poses that you want to do are just you don't want to think too hard you want you don't want to do the most like <laughs> trying to be avant-garde like no that's not what you want to do just move freely I strongly would advise dance lessons if you're into that or like um, just just movement get in the mirror move around like any little movement that you do even when you're just playing around all of this everything he can be shooting click 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 like everything is a shot and the in-between moments are sometimes some of the best so always keep that in mind True. and know your lighting know your lighting from one like we have light coming in from all different sources today and it's bouncing off of a white background i'm a brown girl so i need that extra lighting like i don't think i would work so well in a room that was just you cut out work dark. well in a plastic bag amen Okay, but then I would need, you know, the studio lighting. So just, just know that and be cognizant of that as well as a model. Hey, so basically I'm in my second look. We're doing a little something cool, different here. I got put on a table, as you can see. This definitely isn't like the basic of the basics of how to pose. This is like on another level. What you can take from this definitely is it's all about the vibe. I mean, you can see my outfit right now. I'm, I'm giving you. 80s sexy school teacher i don't know if that's a thing <laughs> yeah i mean give them the vibe that they're looking for we're hoping to submit this to a, a cool magazine so you do have to step out of the box step out of what you normally do uh you know i'm not just standing i'm on a table i'm crouched down and <coughs> be creative be creative this is your time in any photo shoot to to push the envelope, do something that you normally wouldn't do. You never know, sometimes that's like the best stuff. Obviously work with the photographer, make sure you guys are on the same page. Don't go like doing something crazy. Uh, one point that I would like to make is don't overdo it, okay? You're beautiful just as you are. You know, actually Trevor was just saying how you can't stand it when, you know, some models will be like, <laughs> when you're, you're just trying to be so sexy. And it's like, no, just stop. Just, it's all about the softness and being sensual and being regal. And that's what the camera picks up more than if you're overdoing it and trying to be sexy like Stop. Smiles, like Tyra said. Smile with your eyes. Smile. Like literally smile and then close your eyes. And like what Tyra said, shine bright, shine star, be a star. Wait. That too. <laughs>
I'm in my third look. I finished kind of shooting, but I did want to say one last thing. When you are shooting, make sure you also have different points of views, different eye lines is what we call it. Um, that's where you want to focus your eyes. Not every shot has to be looking at the camera. You know, it can be off the center. Sometimes a photographer will put their hand and say, look here, look above me, look, you know, to my left. So use those little points on the photographer. They're, le they're right, they're left, and on top of them. And even sometimes like uh, bottom left or right corners to gauge your eyes. So I'm looking over here, he's shooting. My body's still here, but my eyeline is somewhere else. And it's more interesting sometimes, right? Even when I'm looking up, like it just tells more of a story. I'm looking up right now, but I'm still giving you all of the poses. I'm looking to the left of uh, the right of the photographer now, but I'm still giving you all of the poses. I can still turn around, can still look over there. Like it just gives a little more interest sometimes when you're not always just focusing at the camera. One tip when you do do that look off camera is you don't want to see too much white of your eyeballs. And what that means is, yeah, just don't turn your eyes so much that you see all you see is white, right? All you saw was white. You don't want that. So that's why you need to be three quarters. Never too right, too right or too left. Always like slightly off, right off the shoulder, right off the shoulder. Never like, or else you just see too much of white of the eyeballs, and that's not cute. And then you're just wasting film. Keep that in mind along with everything else that I taught you today. Hopefully it was something new. Hopefully you remember those little tidbits from the breathing out of your mouth and separating your lips and relaxing your face to knowing which angles to do, which, which angles work best for you, to, um, you know, movements and keeping your hands soft and your face soft and everything else. I hope it was informative. I hope you let me know anything else that you want me to tell you or teach you about. This is obviously just the beginning, just the tip of the iceberg. These are like the little basics that I've learned along the way that help me when I'm trying to get little simple shots or super editorial. These little tidbits go a long, long way. So let me know your thoughts. Make sure to comment, leave um, questions your thoughts let me know what else you want to know in the comments and make sure you subscribe below and i will be back for more Mwah! thank you for watching <laughs>